For us, it's a huge step forward. You know, in many ways, we've been working on this um, for eight years. We've been innovating along the way, and this is the Kindle we always wanted to build. We always try to understand what customers tell us. We, we do surveys, we do web questionnaires, we do focus groups. Because ultimately, we want to build devices that people love, devices that people will use every single day of their lives. The display is a brand new technology that has never reached that level of quality ever before. So one of the big improvements with Kindle Paperwhite is the resolution and the contrast of the display. A better screen that's got more pixels and more dots on the screen, that allows us to create finer fonts. So whether it's in Cecilia or whether it's at Baskerville and you're looking at the K and the stroke of that K, we've had experts detail out and tune every piece of that. It helps with text being crisper. It helps with images being crisper as well. We push resolution, we push contrast, we're introducing this front light. People have tried to do front lighting on displays for years. We wanted a technology that would provide first an extremely even light on the display. This technology is totally new. The light actually projects towards the text on the page, and it's reflective just like a book, as opposed to LCD displays where the light shines in your eye, which isn't optimal when you're staring at it for long form reading. The light guide here is basically uh, an optical fiber that's been flattened out into a sheet that's capturing the light and transmitting it across the surface. If we look at it from the side, the light gets captured in this film, so this is how it's, it's guiding light like a fiber optic, and it's bouncing from one end of this film to the other. The magic of the technology is that by printing features in different places, it comes out and shines off the display, and then from the display it reflects back up. So by adjusting the pattern as you go from one end of the display to the other, you can get an even amount of light coming out at every location. It's actually very hard. We had to to go many hours in, into dark rooms to pick LEDs. We actually looked at samples and looked at, for this batch here is the best LED that basically matched those characteristics of very white, very neutral color. We spent a lot of time looking at how many LEDs to put in, how hard to drive them, how bright we could get it without impacting the battery life. You don't want someone to have to manage their light and say, well, I really like to have the light on, but I'm, that's gonna really hurt my battery life. That's one challenge that was from the get-go, a big challenge for the team, to not go backwards compared to previous generation Kindles that already were enjoying great uh, long battery life. We made the product lighter, we made the product easier to use, to limit the number of buttons and, 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 and things that kind of distract from the reading experience. But this is all just so that we could make a device that goes away, that when you start reading your book, all you're thinking about is the story, you're getting lost in the author's words. This is what we always envisioned, and we've been patiently inventing behind the scenes and working towards this day.